I think we're good with this look. We bit of a sleepy boy, just like me. Now there is a sprawling region, bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscape. Also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Love this little bit so much. We humans coexist with Pokemon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Andre Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these halls that you'll find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true selves. We, the faculty and staff in Oranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Ah, the T-Pose, that happened in Violet as well. What the fuck's up with that? Ah, Coridon. Bit of a hot take, but I actually think Coridon's cooler than... Myriadon, Myriadon, however you pronounce that guy's name, but I like the dinosaur dude a little better. Pretty boy. Something just about his scales and his fantails and his whole prehistoric look, I think, makes him look a bit more intimidating, makes him look cooler. It just looks like Board of Life. My intention was for my character to look very stone-faced and just like... Not sulky! Oh no! He's in a constant state of pain! <laughs> oh, well, off we go. Ah, oh, I don't need my bag yet. Ah, uh, we gotta talk to mum first. She's a cutie. And she's got one of the nicest kitchen setups I've seen in a Pokemon game, so wonder what that could be. The director, you came in person to help with my son's first day. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. Well, you simply must join me for a cover. Is that, is that code for fucking our mum? I'm watching you two. Hey, little muncher. Yep, muncher. Keep an eye on this old fuck. Dad's, dad's gonna be back with milk any day now. This motherfucker's face. I like that it copies the exact controllers you've got on the switching game. That's pretty cool. Alright. Grab our, our ugly. I'm just gonna call it ugly. That has ugly as shit. We look lame as fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Mr. Tigsy. The most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? But, but I want to use the muncher. Don't pull your hat down like it's anything to be proud of, please. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your balls. Brigatito, the grass cat. Way Coco. Firecroc Pokemon. I'd love to choose him again because he was. Ah. Uh, I grew very attached to my Skelly Dirge in my Violet playthrough, but. The Darkwing Pokemon, yeah. I think. I think it's gonna have to be our pick. And they're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Teasy, than familiar old mate. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Oh, before you go, I got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. A Rotom phone, okay. Free Pokemon, free phone? It's been a good day. 
boy Coco. My boy. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our academy's newest student, Master Tigzi. He'll be attending as of today. So, you're the kid that moved in up the road? I've been dying to find out more about you. Oh, it's just too much. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I came on a little too strong. Yeah, I'm not about it. <laughs> Miss Mona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. I've never had a rival that's just given me the ick as much as as much as this one does. Ugh, can't even hold my controller straight. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. I don't, I don't want. No. On that note, Master Teezy. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you'd like as your first partner? I'd love a Fue Coco again, but... I think we're going to have to go a Quaxley. We'll call ya... The, the Mafia. Josie, like a Josie. Josie. Josie acts as like the Tony, Tony. What are you doing to me? A little bit of Italian, it's a little bit of like an American Tony. They're gonna be Tony. Hey Tony, how come you haven't killed the last Pokemon yet? Tony seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Tigsy. This is your first Pokemon, yeah? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. <laughs> I don't know why Director Clavel turned into a mobster, but... No, nah, I'm not even giving her the dignity of reading her lines. She is too much. Okay, that's handy, in case uh, we somehow get fucking rocked. We got this. Oh, I'm gonna drop a quick save. Ooh, we got attack up, special defense down. That's actually not bad. That's gonna come in handy. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have a Pokemon by their side. That's how Judy is trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, are you ready to battle me, Tigzy? I have to be, fuck. Perfecto. I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Mr. Mono. Which was about to use her champion team. That's... Mm. I trust you remember that Mr. Tigzy is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Heh. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, director. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Bit of common sense goes a long way. Let's go, Tony! Hey, Tony's gonna give him the whack. Whack him, Tony! Oh. Well, not bad, neighbor. Don't don't be amazed at us. Like that's that's handing us the win, and then condescendingly being like, "Wow, you did so good." Fuck right off. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing? Listen, I didn't ask for that and I don't want it. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Pokedex app was added to your Rotom phone. 
I hope you will both work hard towards the goals of completing your own Pokedex. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents, but I depend on you to see Master Teasy to the Academy. You'd be doing me quite the favour. Of course, leave it to me. Then, I leave them in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I are on our way. Tigsy, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me. Yeah. Come on, vamos. Vamos todos. Vien acá. Vamos. Alright, here's the Poke Path. I feel so sassy, I don't know why. Because I've got to deal with Nimona for ages on it. Yeah, I've got to deal with Nimona's shit for ages. Yeah, yeah, Pokeballs used to catch Pokemon. It's pretty self-explanatory, even had I not played the last, like, 11 or 12 games that I'm aware of. <laughs> well, as I said, I'm in a sassy mood, ignore me. <laughs> Oh, the Chonk. What a good name for Pokemon. The Chonk. Chonky boy. I might have to catch him. Come on, Tony. Just give him the soft whack. We don't want to give him the hard whack. We want to give him the soft whack. Put him in a bag. Not in the ground. Just in a bag. That a boy, Tony. Who's our favorite little mobster? That, that's you, Tony. Yeah, that's you. Aha, it was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. I obtained 10 extra balls. All right. Thank you very much, Nimona. That is uh, very sweet of you. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. And see the school from the top of it. Get him. I do love the auto battle feature a whole lot. Even though you get a lot less experience than you would should you actually battle them. It's uh, just so quick. It's so handy and it looks so cool having a little guy just shoot out from in front of you. Take something down automatically in an instant. Ooh, we got to revive. Oh, I do want one of these guys. All right, this is just going to have to do. Why do I, why do I look so weird? I think we're calling our little Fletchinder. Oh, our little Fletchling. Ash Trail. Cute as shit. Alright. Ooh, super potion. Love that. Hey. Hey. Get your ass back here. Alright, never mind. Whoa, what was that? Never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Tigsy. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. I gather you want me to jump off a cliff and head to that cave? Is, is that the general gist of what you were just telling me? I don't know. You're so annoying, I just blanked out. Stop listening. Let's go jump off the cliff and head to the cave. Oh, please, big boy. It's just a shame we've got to wait until right at the end of the game before we can even use him in battle. Hmm. 
Leave him alone, stupid little hound doors. That's a big boy. Oh, I look so sad. Why? Why am I such a sad boy in this? Nom. Nom nom. Something about Coridon, I like a lot. Said it a few times already, I'm probably gonna say it even more, but Maridon, I like the high tech look, I like the digital pet kind of thing, but Coridon, like here dinosaur. Here big majestic, intimidating fierce boy. Ooh. 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 Oof, oof, oof. Beast. I still think the the rubber wheel thing on the chest is a bit funny, but dudes dudes a beast. Cool later when you can ride Karide on, you come back to this cave and it's actually designed to be traversed with all of the abilities you get on your Coridon as you go through the Titans. Cool game, cool game. There's a lot that they could have definitely put a bit more time into, but for what is here, I'm like, I'm impressed. I like this game a lot. Not expecting Scarlet to be any different than Violet, but was probably gonna do a second playthrough anyway to get the exclusives and trade them across to finish the Pokedex. So I'll just make sure I do it. All on recording so that I can put a series out for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe. Ain't got nothing on me. Well, not me, Coridon. <laughs> I cannot take credit for Coridon's intimidation, but I know he's gonna be mine, so. Used to be one of my favorite Pokemon now, Doom, when I was like 12 years old. <sighs> ah, I love him a lot. His design, his cutscenes, how interactive they've made him with a player throughout the whole story. So cool, so cool. Some voice lines had really add a lot to this whole experience. Just if it feels too quiet, it feels too dead. While you're watching these cutscenes, you want something to be able to listen to as well. But something about Maridon just makes it look very friendly and like, like a puppy, like a pet. Whereas this big boy just gives me such strong vibes. I, I like him a lot. Battle form or his like normal form, both just so cool. He'll be right, he'll be right. Just gotta get a couple more sandwiches in him. He'll be back to normal in no time. Nimona, on the other hand, I wish we could give give her something that would sort her out, but no, she stays annoying the whole game. <laughs> oh, I don't want her number. Don't, don't give her a fakie. Don't give her my number, please. Hmm. Arvin was so annoying the first time I met him, but spoilers. Press pause, don't pay attention, skip forward if you don't. He becomes your best friend. And honestly, one of the greatest characters in this whole game. So, love Arvin. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon professor? Professor Sada? Don't you talk about my mom? Doesn't matter who my mom is. 
The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. That Pokemon saved him, but it seemed like it wore itself out in the process. It kind of got slumpy afterwards. But you should have seen it before. Totally looked different. It was unbelievably strong. Rhydon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? <laughs> Challenge by trainer Arvin. He's such a goof. Honestly, he, he comes off as a big dick at the start. But when you understand why and you know him a little better, like you do after a playthrough, it's uh, it's so much less dickish. It comes off as just goofy. It comes off as like stubborn and throwing a bit of a tanty, but yeah, nah, he's cool. He's alright. Easy as that. Arvin's not very powerful at the start of this game. His team comes a long way, but right now, just one little swerve, it's not really doing much to anyone. Thinks he's Fabio with the hair, but no. <laughs> wow, Tigsy, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using a Pokemon I'd only just caught. That's generally how it goes. Uh, if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's kept in. Who obtained Coridon's Pokeball? Guess he's ours now. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now. Not mine. Good luck. What? Oi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine. Be that way. But you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm going to wring some answers from him. But oh, right, we got to climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. I got my eye on you. Don't try any sus moves. Hmm. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. It's right on the way. Vamos, come on. El poco loco. How much experience we got now? Eh, still 10. Hey. Hey! Get him! Hey! <laughs> Problemo! <laughs> Some kind of pacifist or something, huh? That ain't gonna fly. Ooh, our first Poke Battle. Okay, okay. Okay. Huh. I think they've pulled just enough of the mechanics from Arceus across to not turn the game into that kind of mechanic where you've got to catch Pokeballs, uh, Pokemon by just throwing balls at them. It still gives you a little bit of freedom in throwing your Pokeballs at things to initiate battles and retain a little bit of that, which is nice. You're about to get wrecked. You're about to get fucking destroyed. <laughs> Pound and pound and pound until the ass can take no more. Oh yeah, I'll take that wing attack. Lovely. Uh, Oh, the waltz. No, I think I'm going to go to Gardevoir. Ruby was actually the first Pokemon game I ever played, so... Man, in, in those games, I always tried to pick up that rare encounter waltz at, right at the start, and Gardevoir would be like a main throughout those games, so... Maybe I'll grab this one, pay a bit of homage to back then. Whether we take it down the Gallade route or keep it a Gardevoir. Not sure. We'll decide as we get further down that track. 
Is that a Wupa? I want that Wupa. Ah. Oh. Suck eggs, bro. <laughs> um, is that Wooper still around? That would be lovely. Oh, oh no, it's a ball. It needs to be a boy. <laughs> Alright. They all need to have nice blue icons that all match. Get him. Oh, there's a little Toodle back there too. Good for rock type. Hey, Swoop is a girl too. Alright, never mind. I want a Whoopie boy. Give me a Whoopie boy. Ah, I might have to pick one up later on. It's fine. What's up here? The other good thing about the auto battles is I don't think it actually takes up any of your moves uh, PP. There's no way to say that without sounding stupid. Um, you guys know what I mean. Uh, which is a very, very valuable thing to have when you're grinding out in the open world and not wanting to go back to Pokemon centers and blah, 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 blah. Hi, Whippy. Ah, ah, why are they all girls? Not. No offense to any of the girls that may be watching, but I want my team just to be uh, all matching. Oi, whoopy boy. Oh, oh, what's going on with the land? Oh, oh, why is that a thing? That's so fun. Ta -da. Whoopie boy. <gasps> why did you kill the whoopie boy? What the fuck? <laughs> no, in my luck, that was a boy as well. I'm the strongest in area one of the South Province. Yeah, you also look like a dweeb. Please have a fighting type. Please have a fighting type. If you're wearing a black belt and you don't have a fighting type, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call some kind of appropriation method. That just seems alright. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Time to... Time to give him the whack. You gotta whack him, Tony. Whack him. Whack. You're gonna have to give him, give him one more. Come on, Tony. Show him we ain't fucking around. We mean business. Yeah. Dead men can't say nothing. Oh, he's one's a boy. Oh, I'm just gonna throw a ball straight out. Oh no. Oh no. We've ended up on the wrong side of this lake. We're now stuck there. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. At least we got a great ball. Oh, it didn't even take us to the other side. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, fuck off. Um... Oh, thank God. <laughs> like, if we got there, surely there's a way to get ourselves back, but... Oh, I just didn't want to have to muck around with that for ages, and... Alright. I actually don't really know what I'm doing here. We... Aren't making our way to the school like we were told to. 
Um, I did see these ruins over in the distance. I wanted to kind of check the ruins out, see if there's anything cool that we could take into the first gym or two. It'll be one of those gimme ghoul things. Yeah. Chest. Surely there'll be a chest here too. Oh, there's a couple gimme ghouls around. Ah! Where are you? Fucking get him! Fuck. Oh. Um, and no gimme ghoul chest. Lots of these little gimme ghouls, but... Confuse right, it's a cool one to have. Another gimme ghoul. I'm considering a ghastly. I think I saw Valkyrie had a Gengar in her team though, so... I can't be having that. I don't have my own Pokemon. Alright, I'm satisfied with my little exploration of those ruins. Oh, I want to fight this dude. It's what I like to see. It's what I like to see. Right here. Rare candy. Ooh, I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Psybeam. Ooh. Faint writing is carved into the shrine. <clears throat> Herein lies the ruinous tablets. Gonna have to locate all of these as I start to unlock Coridon's traversal abilities and can start to explore the map a bit more freely. Well, can we get up here? I do not know, I have Poco Loco. Ooh, little XP candy. Can I get over the other side? Get that. Alright. 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 Oh shit. No, no, no. None of that. None of that. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Go. Go. Other side. Other side. Other side. Alright. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, whatever the fuck TM that is. Come on. Special attack, special defense boost. Good setup move. Now I just need to set myself back to the other side. No, not you. Yes. Yes. Alright, cool. Consistent. I like it. Ooh, use this on Weepy Boy 2. It's not much, but it's a bit. Um, oh, and the Thames. Oh, Confusion Ray and Hypnosis would be a menacing mix. But then the Calm Mind as well. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure that Rolts learns Cybeam by herself at like level 18, 20, some shit like that. So I'm not going to use it on her. But it's a very nice little move to have. Hmm. See how we go. Hey, hey, magic, magic man, magic man, please, magic man. There you go. <laughs> Just feels so wrong, but like it's meant to be that way. It's the weirdest thing about it. Okay, we 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 finished with your magic man. Don't need your magic no more. Air slash. Now that's a move. Is that the one that lands crits? No, but it can make them flinch, which is just as nice. 95% accuracy. 25 power. It's real nice. We're giving that straight to our little air ash trail. Oh, but it's a special move. I think that's still fine because our attack and special attacks look like they're... And our, our special attacks actually up, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we can uh, craft more of any TM that we picked up or purchased or... Can you purchase? Never mind. Be, be given by other people. But anytime you come across a TM for the first time, you're then able to craft it at focus centers and stuff. So not too stressed on who I use them on because I can just make more if I need. 
I might save. It's been a bit since I've saved. I saved. And then I think I'm just going to fast travel back to... Yeah. And I'll run upwards from here. Save myself a bit of time. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm allergic to fucking annoying people. <laughs> ah, go away, Nimona. You're actually just a pain. Shut up. We, we've been doing this for about an hour already. Like, relax. Oh, it's a great spot. <laughs> Once you've used a poker center for the first time is when it becomes a fast travel point for you. So, that's handy. Let's buy an ice cream. I see the experience point normal gets buff. I don't know if that means when you defeat normal type Pokemon that you get extra EXP from them or any of your Pokemon that are normal type get it extra EXP for a little bit of time. But I'm gonna grab it anyway. I'll, I'll take it. I don't really get it, but I'll take it. You look a lot like Clive, the... The fella that Director Clavel um, <laughs> impersonates later on when he's helping you investigate Team Star. <laughs> so stupid. I'm Clive. Uh, out of here. Nothing much else to do by the looks of it. This is the hill that she's talking about. But then there was also the path up there. Seems more or less the same. Oh, is that a Bonzi? That's random. Oh shit, I got fucked by that. Because it's a rock type. Ah, that was dumb. Well. Take it easy for a sec, yeah? I ripped. Oh, he buff. <laughs> oh, this is the sequence breaking part that people have been talking about. Ah, ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. I fucked up. Oh, there's a Riolu there. Oh, you're facing the wrong way, you idiot. Ah. Oh no, how do we do this? Patience, I suppose. Just one of you fuckers needs to walk over here. Come on. Come on. The Rioli might just run over here himself. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh, he's so close. Anything in here? Oh, no. okay. Oh! Oh, he's, he's down there. Did we just get ourselves a Riolu because he fell off the cliff for a part we're not meant to be on? Entering him. He's only level 20. Oh. Well. He's going to wipe my whole team, isn't he? Oh, shit. I should have saved. Oh. Can I run and still save? No, we're going to hope for the best. Oh, he's getting to the point where he can one-shot our whole team. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, something else to get him into the red would be nice. I don't think he's got his steel typing yet, so... This might not be great. Oh, yes. Alright, alright. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It's alright, it's alright, it's fine. What moves he got? He's got counter, he's got work up. I've forgotten if he's used anything else already.
We got fucking Riolu at the very start. We haven't even got a badge yet. Dude's going to be a, Luc a Lucario very early into this game, and nothing can beat us by that point. So, excellent, excellent. Sure. No, we won't. That's fine. That's fine. We'll make, we'll make do. We'll make do. We've got our Lucario now, so nothing else really matters, to be fair. I low key wish I'd picked the Cat Starter now, because then I'd have Grass and Dark to complement Biting Steel, Ground Poison, Psychic Fairy, Fire Flying. But the Grass Dark would have been cool. And then eventually I would have changed the Chonk to something else, but. I think this is about what our team's going to be for this playthrough so far. And the fact that we got that loop. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. We were like hoping for the trick where you throw the ball at them and then you glitch over to wherever the battle's taking place. But we got one better. He literally just threw himself off the cliff down to a spot that we could walk up and, and initiate a battle ourselves. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, I'll take it. More candy. Lots of little eagly buffs. A little pommel. 